Hey, welcome to the show. Today on the show, we're going to be doing a three-digit number multiplied by another three-digit number. But before that, I got a question for you. Do you know why bees have sticky hair? It's because they use honeycombs. <laughs> Get it? Honeycomb? A comb with honey in? All right, let's get back. Maybe I better stick to my mathematics first. Um, that's a gigantic number. Where do I start here? What I recommend is I like using sticky notes because I'm going to just ignore these numbers right here. We don't need them right now. Uh, we're just going to ignore these numbers. I'm going to put one right over the two and then I'm going to put one right over the one because we don't need to see that. We're just dealing with just this number right here, the five number. All right. So I'm going to take five times three, five times three, 15. So I put 15 right here. This would be the five, carry the one. And then eight times five is 40 plus the one right here, plus the one. And that would be 41. So I put the one right here and then carry the four up there. And I'm going to add that four in a little bit. And then five plus four is 20 plus the four, 24. All right, so I write 24 right there. Now, I better make that two a little bit neater. Always remember to try to be as neat as possible when you're doing mathematics. Now, I just finished multiplying the five. Now I move on to the next number, and that would be the one, all right? And as you can see, this is gonna be really easy to multiply. It's gonna be one times three is three, one times eight is eight, one times four is four. But where do I start? I start right below the one right here. So one times three is three. So I put the three right here and then I continue on. One times eight is eight. And then one times four is four. All right, finished everything. Now I move on to the next number. I take this little sticky note and put it right over there. And as you become better with multiplication and doing equations, you won't need to block these out. It's, you're gonna, it, um, just, it'll just come normally. So let's go ahead and multiply. Two times three, six. Where should I put the six? Right below the two, all right? That's the number you're dealing with. So put it right below the two, which would be the six here. Now it's really important to line up all of your numbers. Make sure they're nice and neat and in the row. Two times eight is 16. So I put the six here. So I need to put the one right up here always check your work. So I did two times three is six, two times eight is 16, I carried the one, and now two times four is eight plus that one right up here, which would be nine. So I put the nine right here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add all these numbers right here. So now five plus nothing, nothing is five. Three plus one is four. 8 plus 4 plus 6. You can arrange these numbers to make it a little bit easier for you. So I'm going to just take 6 and 4 is 10, and then 10 plus 8, 18. So I put the 8 right here, carry the 1 up there, and then I'm going to take 6 and 4 is 10, 11, 12, and then 13. So I put the 3 here, carry the 1, 9 plus 1 is 10 right there. So I'm going to put a little comma there to show you the answer. So I hope you can see it uh, on the camera. Hey, um, I got this really cool uh, YouTube channel I'm working on. It's called Dino Math. Check out the link right there. Um, go over there. I have mathematics on there. I have dinosaur uh, toy reviews. Even have Beyblade X dinosaur battles, which is so cool. We're having so much fun. Check that uh, channel out. I sure appreciate it. If you go over there and hit that subscribe to that channel and also to this channel, that helps me out a lot. And get outside and do some playing. And like always, have a fun day out there. Adios. Goodbye.